Hello, dear test takers. Welcome back to my Grammar for Success channel. In today's video, I am going to give you a detailed picture about the special nouns in the English language. I hope that the knowledge of this grammatical aspect will surely help you deal successfully with the questions based on it in all your competitive examinations. And now, let us get into the video all about special nouns. This video is all about uh, special nouns. This is meant exclusively for the competitive examinations. That means uh, all those candidates preparing for the competitive examinations can watch this video and benefit from it uh, largely. And uh, now let's get into the video. Nouns can be classified into two groups. Already in my earlier video, I made it clear that uh, nouns can basically be divided into two groups. What are they? Concrete nouns and abstract nouns. Okay. But here, from another angle, you can divide them or you can classify them into two groups. What are they? Here you see concrete, countable nouns and also uncountable nouns. These countable nouns are also called uh, concrete nouns and uncountable nouns are called uh, abstract nouns. Okay, that division uh, is a grammatical division, uh, that is an old division, but it is a modern division of what is that uh, nouns, countable nouns and uncountable nouns, right? And uh, uh, what, is, what are the countable nouns? Countable nouns means, what is that? Yes, uh, all the names of, all the names of persons, okay, all the names of places that we can count, that's important that we can count. So, we must be able to count them. Such nouns are called countable nouns. Countable nouns are nothing but all the names of persons, all the names of places that we can count. For example, here I have given some examples. Book is there. It is a countable noun. You can count it. One book, two books, three books, four books, ten books, twenty books like that, pen. Pen, one pen, two pen, three pens, like that. Apples, boy, all these nouns, you can count them. And therefore, these nouns have, what is that? Plural form. These nouns have plural forms. Okay. Book, books. Pen, pens. Apple, apples. Boy, boys. Sister, sisters. Like that, these countable nouns have plural forms. Plural means we have singular number and plural number. And uh, singular number means if there is only one person or one, play, one place or one thing, we call it uh, as, uh, that uh, noun is said to be in the singular number. If there are more than we can say one person or what is that one place or one thing, those, those nouns are said to be in the plural number. So here book, it is in the singular number. Books, it is in the plural number. So these countable nouns will have the plural number also. That means plural form also. And now let us go to the uncountable nouns. What are the uncountable nouns? Okay. Let us see. Uncountable nouns. Before that, you know, let me tell you one very important thing. Yes, all names of things. The definition is like this. All names of things that we cannot, that we cannot count. This is important. We cannot count. We cannot count them. Okay. Right. And therefore, these uncountable nouns do not have the plural forms. How? Let us see some examples. And here you see milk is there. Can you count it? One milk, two milks, three milks, ten milks. Can you say that? No, you can't. Similarly, sugar is there. Give me two sugars, five sugars. You can't say that. So, similarly, one gold, two gold, three gold. You cannot. So, you cannot count them. You can countable nouns can be counted, uncountable nouns cannot be counted. The names, the titles themselves are indicating that. Countables, they can, that can be counted. Uncountable, that cannot be counted. So, here, these are the uncountable nouns. You cannot count them. And uh, actually, what are the uncountable nouns means, you know, here I must tell you one thing. What is that? Uh, uh, all names of, what is that? All names of uh, substances, okay? 
ऑल नेम्स ऑफ सब्सटेंस मिल्क इज अ सब्सटेंस ऑयल इज अ सब्सटेंस शुगर इज अ सब्सटेंस ऑल नेम्स ऑफ मेटल्स गोल्ड सिल्वर आयरन ऑल नेम्स ऑफ मटेरियल्स वुड वूल वूल क्ले दिस आर ऑल मटेरियल्स आउट ऑफ व्हिच थिंग्स कैन बी मेड एंड हियर ऑल नेम्स ऑफ क्वालिटीज qualities okay honest is a quality poverty is a quality beauty pain these are all qualities all names of qualities all names of states states means uh, the you can say the 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 state of uh, uh, some age you know youth is a state and childhood is a state boyhood is a state like that and then what is that actions laughter it's an action judgment is an action flight is an action all names of sciences physics mathematics these are all names of sciences all names of arts economics civics history these are all the names of arts all names of languages english hindi spanish dutch french marathi kannada what is that malaya all these names of languages so in this way let me give you somewhere else about these uh, uh, what is that uh, Uh, these countable nouns, uncountable nouns. What are they? Here you see this. All what is that? Names of substances. Okay. Names of substances. Names of uh, metals. Names of materials. Okay. Names of materials. Names of uh, qualities. Okay. Names of qualities. Names of states. Okay. And names of uh, what is that? You know, actions. Right. And the uh, names of uh, uh, what is that? Uh, sciences. right names of what is that uh, uh, arts names of languages see these are all what is that uh, uncountable nouns they cannot be counted countable nouns can be counted and therefore they have plural forms and uncountable nouns cannot be counted therefore they do not have plural forms this is the basic idea one must have about the nouns okay this is over the following are uncountable nouns in english okay in english in the english language you can say directly you can say in english right and here the following are uncountable here i have tried my best to give you uh, you can say a list of uncountable nouns uh, we, uh, the use of which is becoming uh, somewhat difficult for the uh, students especially in the examination and that's why i'm going to talk to you about the uncountable nouns right and what are the uncountable nouns here furniture is there it is an uncountable noun right furniture you cannot count it one furniture two furnitures three furniture like that advise you know advise news advise one advise two advises three advises you cannot say news one news two news as three news as like that you cannot count them bread language work baggage information scenery scenery means uh, a picturesque view or a landscape is called a scenery a big view of some beautiful uh, landscape you know business okay and then comes what is that you know hair is there cutlery is there stationery poetry food you cannot say foods okay you cannot say hairs okay and then let me tell you one thing footwear machinery crockery machinery you know crockery means you know uh, all ceramic ware is called crockery cutlery means or cutting uh, you can say tools uh, at the time of uh, taking our dinner or lunch you know you cut the meat and you eat it forks knives they come under this <coughs> cutlery right and crockery clothing weather traffic money meat homework jewelry lightning thunder permission progress rubbish shopping soap spaghetti toast flu see look at all these nouns they are all uncountable nouns right are you following me uncountable nouns and let me tell you one very important thing in many languages they some of these nouns are uncountable countable nouns also in some for example in my mother tongue telugu what is that uh, advice is there advice means in telugu salaha salaha is there salahalu is also there news vartha vartha vartalu is there bread rotte rotelu is there okay similarly what is that you know money dabbu dabbulu is there so you can soap is there soap means sabbu sabbulu so in this way in many languages these uncountable nouns are countable nouns in some many languages but in in english you know these are all uncountable nouns 
in other languages some of them are countable nouns but uh, in english they are exclusively uncountable nouns you must understand this point and therefore in the examination the students are very likely to make mistakes because in their mother tongue they think oh it's a plural one soap is there soaps is correct one okay advice is there advice means okay salaha salaha loose advises so it's correct so they think in their mother tongue and then they come to a conclusion that it is correct in the english language also but english language is different and all other languages are different therefore i am making this doubt very clear before you that some of these nouns are countable nouns countable nouns no in some languages but in english they are all uncountable language uh, nouns at this point uh, you have to understand this right and now i am going to talk to you about uh, uh, their main features okay their main features okay any word you don't understand in the cutlery means cutting uh, stools crockery you know very well uh, or conveyor or what is that uh, ceramic ware in which we eat and uh, use at the time of dining okay traffic footwear means chappal okay shoes you know hair you know all these things you know a spaghetti means it's a kind of you know, pasta and the toast also you know you can you know about the toast you know that we eat in bakery shop you no know. flu that's a i can say the name of a disease you know right these uncountable nouns okay have certain special features these uncountable nouns have some special features what are the special features okay this is very very important star mark from the examination point of view they do not have plural forms that's the first basic feature of these words okay and the next one is they do not take plural verb after them they don't take plural verb after them and the third one is there they are not used with a or an please keep these three points in your mind and in the competitive examinations you know they give mistakes using these things uh, and they confuse you before these uncountable nouns these uncountable nouns do not have plural forms but in the examination they give you a plural form one mistake they do not take plural verb after them but in the examination they give you a plural verb after them and in the examination they give they are not used with a or an but in the examination they use a or an before them so in that way the test givers will confuse you in the competitive examinations and therefore be on the alert now you are learning all these things solidly and su therefore success is only yours right and now these nouns do not have the plural form that is the that is the first basic uh, feature of those uncountable nouns and now you see some examples i would like to give you here in the examination wrong sentence is given in this way she has sold all her old furniture furniture is a is an uncountable noun it does not have a plural form what is the plural form actually if you add yes to the singular word singular noun it becomes a plural one for example book is there to make it plural you must say books pen pens okay road roads if you add yes to these you know, singular word that becomes plural this basic rule everybody knows so here furniture one furnitures so many they think in that way and they say so here the wrong sentence in the examination will be given in this way so here let us see she has sold all her old furniture you know you know because you must keep all those uncountable nouns in your mind otherwise you cannot be successful so keep all those uncountable nouns in your mind and here furniture is a word is an uncountable noun that does it, it that has no plural form this point in, it is in your mind this point is in your, so that's why you no know, furniture furniture it's wrong it's right and similarly all other things i have received no informations informations is wrong you have to say information right and next one where are my luggages luggage it's luggage itself is enough luggages no right so you have to say where is my luggage you have to say and one more example her hairs are black you cannot say hairs you have to say hair is there and let me tell you about hair okay hair is you no know, an uncountable noun but whenever you are speaking about some individual uh, ones you know you can say hairs there are three hairs on my nose three hairs 
not talking about individual hairs that's why then you can say but uh, uh, when uh, when you are talking as a whole you cannot say my hairs my hairs are black no my hair is black you are talking uh, all about the hair on the head if you are talking about one or two three then you can say hairs uh, one or two a few hairs are white in your head a few hairs then you can okay but uh, as a whole you cannot say that her hairs are black her hair is black my hair is long her, his hair is grizzly uh, what's it uh, grizzly negroes will have grizzly and uh, next one they do not take plural verb after them first rule is okay they do not have plural form but in the examination they give a plural form you must correct it by setting right uh, correct it by using a singular form okay right and here they do not have plural verb they do not take plural verb after them furnitures are when furniture itself is wrong, how can it take a plural verb? Because plural verb, you no, know, plural verbs are very important in the exam. For example, helping verbs are there. Helping verbs. This is singular. This is plural. Okay. Helping verbs. Am is singular. Plural is are. Was is singular. Were is plural. Okay. Has is singular. Okay. Has is singular have is plural and all other uh, you can say helping verbs shall singular shall plural will singular will plural would singular would plural should singular should plural may might must these are all helping verbs they are plural themselves they are singular as well as plural so here there is no problem with them the problem is only with these basic helping verbs and in the examination they give you only with these things only that's why I am giving that helping verbs. HV means helping verbs, singular, plural. Am is singular, R is plural. Was is singular, were is plural. Has is singular, have is plural. So here, these uh, uncountable nouns are not used with the plural form. So furnitures are is there. Now, what is the singular of this? Is. Okay. And that's why the sentence is in this way. Furniture is a fan made of wood. Okay. And uh, her luggages are in the cloakroom. Luggages are again plural. Visited. So, Luggages, uh, her luggage is in the cloakroom. Okay, breads are okay sold at the bakers. At the bakers, means the name of a shop. Bread is sold. Okay, one some more examples are also given here. The informations I have received were informations itself is a mistake. Then this using this is again a wrong thing. Okay, and then the information was. Okay, that's the right one. And here, my hairs are black. Now, my hair is black. Okay. And then comes his business in the town are over. His businesses. Some people say, uh, my businesses. Business itself is you know, an uncountable noun. It has no plural form at all. Business, business only. Whether you are doing one business or two businesses or three businesses or something. Whatever it is, you call all of them business. Okay. Business. Don't say businesses. And they are doing. And nowadays, you know, some people, you know, uh, are justifying, uh, saying that you know, I am correct. Now I can use it. It's in bad English. You know, don't try to speak broken English. Try to speak only spoken English, solid English, right English, right? Okay. Businesses is wrong, and R is again wrong. And here, uh, his business in is over. And uh, one said, the advices you have given me are good. Okay. The advices you have given me is good. Okay, the advice. So, in this way, oh, these uh, uncountable nouns do not have uh, a plural form. The, the uncountable nouns do not take plural verb after them. These are all the examples for that. And now, let us go to the third important aspect. They are not used with A or N. Remember, these uncountable nouns are not used with A or N. See, they are used with some or a piece of. This is very, very important from the examination point of view. Very, very important. All these three are important, but this is more important than other than those two other things. Of course, they are used. They are not used with you know. Here. See, he has given me a glad news. A glad news. A glad news. You cannot say news is an uncountable noun, and it is not preceded by. It is not preceded by either a or an. Okay, right. Okay. He has given me some good news or some glad news or a piece of also you can say. You can use either some or a piece of. Okay. I have a piece of good news for you. Don't say I have a good news for you. Some people say, Are, he has brought me a good news. Here is a good news. No. 
here is a piece of good news here is a, some good news either you must use either some or a piece of bit before uh, news okay so some okay similarly all other also i have a fine furniture furniture is an uncountable noun you should not use a or and before that a fine furniture so you have to say some or a piece of fine furniture okay and then comes will you please give me a bread don't say a bread so you have to say what is that some bread or a piece of bread okay if possible you can say a loaf of course loaf is singular loaf loaves loaves leaf leaves wife wives so uh, while talking about the number in the english language singular number plural number so i would like to explain all those things to you don't worry about that but uh, keep watching all my videos you can learn so many so many things uh, but uh, unfortunately people are lacking in patience okay okay right a good advice he has given me a good advice don't say good advice some advice or a piece of good advice okay? one important thing i am giving you uncountable nouns can be made uncountable equivalents only by using a piece of or bit if you want to make an uncountable noun a countable noun an uncountable noun a countable noun you can use you can do so by using a piece of or bit of a bottle of okay something like that before that for example a uh, news is there this is you know it has no plural form if you want to make it a, a, a countable one countable means you must be able to count one news two news a three news then you cannot say news one news two news three news you cannot say that but how can you say that a piece of news a piece of news okay if there are two important news you know, then what is a two pieces of news here are two pieces of news news is like this a piece of one two pieces three five pieces of news so to make these uncountable nouns okay into countable nouns make them into countable nouns or countable equivalents you must use a piece of or a bit of before them a bit of news a piece of news without using them you cannot make them plural or you cannot make them countable nouns okay so if you want to make the uncountable nouns countable nouns okay you have to use a piece of or a bit of a bottle of an acre of a tool of whatever it is okay a box of something like something you have to use in front of them and make it so for example advice is there it's like an uncountable noun to make it a countable noun a piece of advice two pieces of advice five pieces of advice like that and the bread is there bread means you know you know very well and here bread a piece of bread a loaf also you can say a roll a roll also you can say okay this is okay and two pieces of bread give me two pieces of you cannot say two breads no bread itself is a whole uh, this thing and uh, it is an uncountable noun you cannot count it so if you want to make it a countable noun what should you do you must say a piece of bread two pieces of bread three pieces of bread today in the morning i have eaten five pieces of bread you can also say five loaves you can say five rolls you can say right equipment is there a piece of equipment a tool equipment a tool a tool three pieces of equipment you can say that and similarly baggage is there baggage has no plural form if you want to say two three pieces of baggage you know one bag two bag three bag like that so baggage baggage a piece of baggage a few pieces of baggage right like that two pieces of baggage how many pieces of how many pieces of baggage do you have we are traveling to new delhi take it for granted how many pieces of baggage do you have don't say how many baggages do you have you have to say how many pieces of baggage do you have then the other person says i have three pieces of baggage three pieces of baggage and here news is there a piece of news three pieces of good news whatever it is and then poetry is there okay what is that a piece of poetry or a poem three pieces of poetry whatever it is furniture is there okay you have you know table sofa dining table and a 
chairs, uh, all these things are there. A piece of furniture, an article of furniture, you have to say. Okay, grass is there. It's an uncountable now. So what is that? A blade of grass, a few blades of grass. Okay, grasses is not there. Information is there. What is that? I have received a piece of information, two pieces of information. Information is as it is. One, two pieces, two. The police have received two pieces of information, three pieces of information, three informations, two information. No, right. Lightning is there, lightning in the sky. What is that? Yes, a flash of lightning, a few flashes of lightning. Luck is there. A bit of luck, a stroke of luck, many bits of luck. Luck is luck like that only. It is not changing. A bit of luck means one luck. Two bits of luck means two lucks like that. <laughs> but you cannot say lux. That's why a bit of luck, a stroke of luck, many bits of luck. And then comes travel is there. Okay. Travel, a journey, a trip. You can, you can say travels. People say so many things. Even people say Ra Sri Rama furnitures. They use it because they do not know this rule. They do not have this grammar, grammar idea and all that. That's why no, they might use it. But, but that is okay in the, in the general life. It's okay. Them say travels. Some you know travels shop, you know, travels you know agency you can come across here and there. So travel itself is travel, travel, so air travel. You cannot say air travels, bus travel. Travel is only there, but you cannot say travels is not there. Okay, you can say a journey, a trip, two trips, three trips. Trip is okay, journey is okay, journey. Okay, so it's like that. And now uh, we go to the next rule. And work is also there. A piece of work, three pieces of work, a job or two jobs, whatever it is. You can say, you can say, I have. Two works at home. No. Two pieces of work at home. Okay. Second rule is there. Some nouns have the same form both in the singular and in the plural. Very important rule. Some nouns are the same both in the singular and in the plural. Right. And here you see sheep. Sheep one. If there is one sheep, you call it sheep. If there are many sheep, you can call them sheep. Deer. Swine. Swine means pigs. Okay. And salmon. Fish. Cod is a fish. Grouse is a kind of bird. You know. Uh, what is that in the in the forest you can find uh, jungle birds are there they, they, they mostly try to live on the ground they don't fly more the grouse you know like that grouse means a kind of you can say, bird trout it's a fish brick stone right and the fruit fish species okay species and the gallows gallows means you know um, what is that you know two upright posts and across these two posts there will be a transverse uh, pole and uh, from that you know criminals are hanged to death they has got gallows series means offspring spacecraft aircraft these are all the nouns that are the that are both singular and plural Singular is the this singular is sheep is singular, sheep is plural. Deer is singular, deer is deer is plural. You cannot say sheep plurally sheeps. You cannot say deer deers. You cannot say brick bricks, stone stones, fishes. Some people say I'm bringing some fishes from the market. No, I'm bringing fish from the market. So these are both singular and plural. They don't change their shape. That's it. Ten sheep are grazing in the field. No, if you know the rule, you can easily say sheep is a wrong word. Then you have to say ten sheep are because if there is one sheep, you call it sheep. If there are many sheep, you call it sheep. That's all, right? And then come these are these deers have beautiful heart. People generally make this mistake, but you are uh, a person who has learned uh, uh, all these grammar rules, and you don't say like this. You say these deer have beautiful hearts. Yesterday we had fishes for dinner. Okay, we had fish for dinner. Okay, if you are talking about individual things, you know, yesterday I caught two fishes. Then you can say, when you are you are talking about fishes, you know, you went for fishing and uh, yesterday you went for fishing, and today you are talking about that fishing uh, with your uh, uh, 
uh, friend you know. then you say yesterday i caught two fishes one small and one big something and my friend caught four fishes when you are talking about individual fishes then you can say fishes you can say but when you are talking as a whole you cannot say fish what is your curry what is your today's curry no, fish curry do you like fish curry no, don't say fishes curry no fish curry itself is enough right we didn't have many fruits okay fruits are like that fruit apples uh, or what is that uh, uh, strawberries uh, and uh, pineapples all these together you call them fruit where are you going i'm going to the fruit market don't say you don't say fruits market do you say fruits market because there are varieties of fruit you can find but when you are talking about individual fruits then you can say that these two fruits are overripe or damaged something like that. then you are talking about uh, 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 some fruits you know specifically uh, what then you can you say that is only okay. but uh, as a whole you have to say fruit don't say fruits are good for health fruits is fruit fruit is good for health okay mm -hmm. we don't have much fruit this month And a special note on means, very important from the examination point of view. Triple star mark means is there. What is that? You know, means has one meaning. This is one method or system. It has one meaning. What is that meaning? It has two meanings. One of them is method or system. The means by which he succeeded in the examination was, and when it, it is used in the sense of method or system, it, it will take either a singular verb or a plural verb. Therefore, the example is the means by which he succeeded in the examination was honest or were honest also. When this means is used in this sense, it will it can take either a singular helping verb or a plural helping verb. No problem. One more example here. The means he employed to win the election has been or have been. Means means the method challenged in the court. Okay, two things. And here, one thing is there. His means, when means is used in the sense of income or money, another meaning of means is income or money. When this means is used in this sense, you know, it is always plural. It will take you know, the plural verb after it. Okay? The, his means are, when it is used in the sense of method or system, it can take singular helping verb or plural helping verb. No problem, no restriction. But when it is used in the sense of income and income or money, then it is always used with a plural helping verb. That's what it. And here, what is that? As her means were scanty, scanty means minimum or low. She could not offer to travel by a, a air. Okay, uh, income or money. So in this way, this is an important one. Please pay very good attention to this again and again. Okay, the names of certain diseases that are uh, that end in yes are always singular and are followed by a singular names of certain diseases are there that end in yes but uh, though they end in yes you know they are not plural words but they are only singular words and they take a singular verb after them for example measles is there this is ending in yes okay why should i write these things and already i have given you a list of these things measles is there measles Children's disease, this you know, it's the ending in yes. Mumps, it's also children's disease. You can find some kind of glands get swollen. Rickets, oh, lack of D vitamin. Shingles, a kind of you know uh, itching or some bruises on the skin, you know, uh, red ra rash type this thing. So these are all the names of diseases that are ending in yes. And seeing them. They are ending in yes. Some people think they are plural words and they try to use a plural verb after that. But that's a mistake. They are, uh, in fact, they are singular words and therefore they take singular verb after them. Here, measles have, because you know, some, the, this man thinks you know, the measles is a plural word and therefore plural verb be, he has used it after that. Measles have, no. What is that? Measles has. Similar, mumps are a serious disease of children. Okay, and then mumps is okay, right? And then rickets are caused by the deficiency of vitamin D. Rickets are, don't say, rickets is. 
So in this way, before the, uh, the names of certain diseases, the tendon ES are always uh, singular and followed by a singular verb. Hello, dear test takers. Now look at this fourth rule. Names of certain games that end in yes are singular and always followed by a singular verb. So it's, a, it's all a kind of confusion for the students, you know. For you, there will be a lot of confusion. What are the uh, names of games that, in the, that end in yes uh, means? Billiards is there. The name of the game itself is billiards. You cannot say billiard, billiards. So here what is that, you know, yes is there. Darts, it's a name of a game. It's a name of skittles and uh, drafts, you know, innings. These are all ending in yes. And therefore, some students get confused and they think that uh, they're all plural words and therefore they use a plural verb after them, right? But in fact, they're all singular words, okay? And we have to use only a singular verb after them. For example, billiards, everybody knows, you know, snooker, billiards. And darts means, you know, it's a kind of game in which darts, darts means arrows are there that are thrown at a target. So it's a dots. Skittles means you no know, a nine pins. Uh, you can say game. You no, know, in they are played with a ball. So some nine pins are put there, and they throw a ball, and this ball goes and hits all of them, and that's called a uh, skittles. You know, right? Drafts means you no know, a checkerboard game. Chess is a uh, chess is like drafts. Drafts. You know, so checkered checkerboard game. You know, played by two players only that side one player this side between them you know there will be checkerboard and uh, they play that game chess is one of them you know many other things are there innings you know first innings second innings we can talk about this uh, during uh, cricket game okay right and uh, all of these things you know very well and now let's go to the examples right <clears throat> the first innings are just so innings is there it's a singular one but this yes is confusing you and therefore, some students say the first innings are just now over. No, the first innings is over. Right. And then comes what is that? Billiards are a very difficult game. No. Billiards is. Last example. Dots are a very competitive sport. Dots are. Don't say dot, dots is. So, and here, names of certain sciences and branches of knowledge which end in yes are always singular. There are certain names of branches of science and uh, sciences and uh, knowledge are also there and uh, they end in yes, uh, but don't mistake them for plural words. For example, here I'll give you physics is there. It is ending in yes, but it's not a plural word. Civics uh, is a singular word. Economics, uh, electronics, uh, mathematics, uh, ethics, uh, news, uh, politics, uh, gymnastics. Uh, people say politics means uh, in, certain, in some local languages, you know, there is, there is you no, know, for example, in my mother tongue, Telugu, you no, know, Rajakiyamu, Rajakiyalu. Two things are there. There are two words are existing in Telugu, but in English it is only singular. Politics is, don't say politics are, like that. These are all singular words. Okay, now you see mathematics are not easy to. You know, mathematics is what is that? They are all ending in yes, right? They are all ending in yes, but they don't say they are all plural words. Don't mistake them for plural words. They are all singular words. Therefore, we use only singular verb after them. You have to therefore say mathematics is not easy, right? And uh, I am glad that the news are good. No. News is good. One more example here. Physics are a difficult subject for many. Physics are. Don't say physics is. Even in, in, in a local languages also, uh, th these are all singular. You know, physics means in Telugu, Bhautika Shastramu. Okay. Can you say Bhautika Shastramu? Lu? No. Paura Shastram. Paura Shastram. Lu? Will, mathematics. Ganta Shastram is there. Will there be any word like in, even in Telugu also? Ganta Shastram Lu is not there. So in this way, these words end in yes, but they are not plural words. They are all singular words. We have to use only singular verb after them. That is all the rule. Please keep it in your mind. And now let's go to the next important one. And words like dozen, hundred, thousand, million score. It's an important one from the examination point of view. It, do not take plural where plural form when they are preceded by a numeral like two, three, four. Okay, dozen, hundred, thousand, million, score, brace, pair, brace means you know very well, score means twenty and a pair like that. So here, what is that? You know, dozen, hundred. When they are preceded by, let me write here to 
make it clear dozen hundred thousand okay million okay look at this when they are preceded by two or three or four okay they don't take you know they do not take plural form two dozens apples two hundreds rupees something like that they you know when they are preceded by these numerals like two three four they do not take plural form two hundreds no two two thousands two millions you cannot say that simply you can say dozens hundreds thousands millions you can say but when they are preceded by these things you know you cannot how let me give you some examples to make you understand she bought, she bought five dozens mangoes dozens is there before that five is used you cannot say five dozens mangoes no you have to say five dozen mangoes okay oh, i hope you understand this the car cost sixty thousand rupees sixty number is there and uh, here thousands is there that should not be there sixty thousand rupees he has given me what do you say i paid him 200 rupees or 200 rupees no he has given me 500 rupees will you say he has given me 500 rupees 500 rupees so similar therefore 20 scores men okay 20 scores men laid down their lives okay score is there 20 scores men laid down their lives and the town has 50,000 people. Can you say 50,000 people? No, you say 50,000 people. What is there? After this note, I wind up this uh, video. And you know, 100,000 and million are the plural, uh, take the plural form only if they are not preceded by a numeral or A. That means if 100,000 million. Before them, if a numeral is there, two, three, four, or what is that A? When these things are there, they don't take yes after them. Okay. Yes. If they are not there, they can be used with the yes. Plural form they take. So here, let me give you some examples to make you understand. Thousands of people before thousands. There is no any numeral. 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. There is no any numeral. That's when thousands of people, this is correct. Thousands of people have died all over the world due to coronavirus. Crores of rupees have been spent to buy COVID vaccine. Crores of rupees. No number before that. Hundreds of people were trapped under the rubble in the earthquake in Turkey. So in this way, before this, before the numbers used like this, we have to, when they are preceded by a numeral, you should not use any plural form for these numbers. But when there is no any numeral before them, you can use the plural form. And now, with this, I would like to wind up this video. Please watch this video if you have any problem. You please uh, tell me the problem in the comment section or comment box. And now uh, I wind up this and you wait for the second part and third part. And because you know, I don't want to tell you all the rules in one video. And because you know it should not be very lengthy. And uh, if it is lengthy, you don't watch it. And that's why I'm cutting all these rules into small pieces. And you can watch all of them. And uh, please try to... Uh, subscribe to my channel and watch all the videos that I am uploading from time to time. And now I thank you once again all of you for watching this video. Thank you very much.